everybody, this is Irma Brody. As you know, once a month we connect with a member of the month, and today we have Eric Flowers from San Diego. How you doing, sir? I'm great. Thanks for your time in this. Uh, congratulations for be, you know being a member of the month. Yeah, it's a it's an honor. Let's talk about your background. You know, you're a writer. Everyone's path is different. Mine's different from yours. Let's start from the very beginning and, and talk about you know how you got to where you are now. You know, I if I recall in previous discussions, you start you're pretty fresh writer for lack of better terms. I don't want to say the wrong word, but like you're pr- pretty new, right? Right. I used to write a lot of novels and short stories, but it wasn't until about 2018 that a friend suggested screenplays. And so I had a, a what I thought was a pretty good idea. And um, my first script, The Transformation, got an eight on the blacklist. And I've been kind of uh, rolling ever since. I've got seven scripts now fully written. And if I recall, this was a zombie script, right? Yes. Okay. And it, it got an eight, I think, just because it had a little bit different tape. Yeah. Yeah. Let me highlight for everybody how pretty incredible this is because it was your, I guess, one of your first scripts. Yeah. So you start in 2018. You submit a script to the blacklist the same year, a zombie script nonetheless, which is a genre we've seen countless times. And you still manage to get an eight. Like, how remarkable is that? A little bit of luck, obviously, was involved. Um, um, But, um, I, you know, I still believe in that script. I, you know, rewrite it every couple months. And it has been looked at by a couple of people. But nothing's hit yet. But we're always uh, hopeful for the future. Oh, yeah. Always pushing forward with each script. I'm curious because I do this all the time. I like to look back at things I wrote years ago that I thought were great back then. And I go, oh, my gosh, what was I thinking? What have you learned since then uh, in your growth as a writer from 2018 till now? What has changed with the writing? What have you improved on? Um, are you better with structure? Are you better with dialogue? What have you been, have, what have you been better at nowadays? Um, much better with the dialogue. Okay. I, mean, I used to write these really long kind of monologues, mm-hmm. which obviously don't fly <laughs> in the movie business. So definitely got a lot better with the, with the dialogue and just the action blocks getting much more concise and just getting everything a lot more visual. And that's been, you know, attributed to just kind of being part of the, the get it made crew. Absolutely. Because I mean, let's just face it. A lot of people, especially new writers, will write blocks and blocks of dialogue. Um, no one wants to see like five pages of just <laughs> just monologue, you know. So right. awesome. Have you been on any projects that you've written yourself? I have not. I'm hoping yet. 2024 not yet. yet. Yeah, yeah. 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 So speaking of 2024, what what is it what's on the horizon? What is it that you're looking forward to the most next year as a writer? Um well, I've got a, a couple scripts that I'm kind of fine tuning to submit to the blacklist. Um, I've been doing uh, a little bit uh, of ghost writing. I've a person approached me just a, a couple weeks ago, so I'm exploring that. Um, I'm also uh, doing looking into doing some podcasts. Mm-hmm. My, uh, a friend of mine gave me a, a whole bunch of reel to reels okay. from about 50 years ago. So I okay yeah let me let me let me interrupt here (laughs) if you don't mind let me interrupt you if you don't mind so like scripted podcasts well actually it is from radio station okay 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 so something it's something like old kind of it would be like a music related podcast where I would basically play what's playing on my reel to reel and I mean okay just cool stuff from like fifty years ago I love that yeah. I perked up a bit because are you a fan of um I don't know if you listen to nowadays but like old time radio where you had like uh what's what's the, one of the top ones um sure. like a lot of like I remember back in the day especially Orson Welles would do it too oh, where yeah, he was great he did like the war of the worlds mm-hmm. it kind of freaked everybody out <laughs> yeah yeah that'd be cool if you did something like that <laughs> yeah you know it's I mean I think you and I have talked before I'm a huge like twilight zone thing mm-hmm. 
and you know my stuff is all kind of sci-fi twilight zoney and whenever the new year's or thanksgiving they have the twilight zone marathon oh yeah absolutely yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, we i think that's what we shared early on was uh something we we both have in common is is the new year's eve new year's eve and new year's day is yeah. when we, they do the um, mar- the marathons twilight zone marathons yeah i love that stuff yeah. do, do you think um do you think that stuff is missing nowadays that that, that kind of uh sci-fi um i don't obviously there's a lot of sci-fi movies out there but like that kind of like uh that that, the what rod sterling created back in the day you think it's missing i think it is i mean when i'm trying to write i'm always trying to push the envelope do something that's never been done before and Mm -hmm. you know like you kind of said it's it's not you know they they've been redoing the twilight zone and it's just not quite as good you know so probably because of the rise of, i don't know technology and effects may have right. interrupted like just storytelling exactly okay okay uh let me ask you this uh what are you binge watching right now i'm always curious from from storytellers like you what know do you watch? it's in as much as i'm a sci-fi guy i've been really concentrating on yellowstone just the original okay. broadcast one so i've been gotcha. kind of binge watch, watch, watching that one i'm on this second season right now okay awesome i'm glad you started with that not like the 1899 and the 1923s and <laughs> yeah gotcha very very good um i forgot to ask you earlier what what has been essential reading for you as a storyteller like what has something that what has what is something that taught you? My you know. <laughs> favorite book in high school was um, Brave New World by Aldous Hux- Huxley. Okay. And it was like, you know, it was, it's like one of the few books that I've read and reread. It's like, it's like, usually it's like you read a book. It's like, okay, I'm done with that. Never have to read it again. And, but it was science fiction. It was kind of cutting edge mm-hmm. and it just kind of fit fit in with everything that I was into, which was, you know, like Star Wars and Twilight Zone and Star Trek and all that great stuff. So that just kind of propelled me. I see we have a theme here. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. And is that the kind of movies you watch too? Could we just talk about binge watching? What kind of movies do you watch? Yeah. I mean, obviously a huge fan of the Star Wars. Mm -hmm. Loved Alien. A lot of early John Carpenter, love okay. John Carpenter stuff. Oh yeah, so yeah. From New York and Prince of Darkness, The Fog, Halloween, all that stuff. Mine was the the thing. Love the thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, great. Uh, what can folks? Oh, where can folks find you on social media? Do you have an official site you want to share? So um, uh, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn. <laughs> I'm at. Uh, Eric M. Flowers on IMDb. And if you search actually my name, Eric M. Flowers, you'll probably get uh, a hookup to the Get It Made LA. So, mm-hmm. One last question. Fun one. Hopefully you don't overthink it. But where do you, not, not only where do you see yourself in 10, 15 years as a writer, but how do you want to be remembered? Uh, somebody who wrote great stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Plain and simple. <laughs> yeah. I love that. Eric, once again, congratulations, my friend. And hopefully we can chat more and uh, we see more of your work and what lies for you in 2024. I'm looking forward to that radio thing. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone take care. Once again, this is Aaron Bright. Thank you so much for tuning in.